Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, I'm going to be customising and reviewing the Vapid Reata, which uh, was released into GTA a few, good few weeks ago. But I was looking through my channel and I thought, I haven't customised it yet. So I don't know what happened there. Um, I bought it a long time ago when it was first released into the game. And uh, I just never got around to customising it and reviewing it for you guys. So I found it in the garage. So I thought, why the fuck not? I might as well do the review on it because, I, like I said, haven't done it yet. So that must have been down to everything else which was released in the game. Because I think, if I remember rightly, this was released on day one of the Doomsday Heist. Um, and there was a shit ton of content to get through uh, from that DLC. So I just got you know pushed to the side and forgotten about but i'm here to customize it and review it for you today and luckily we have a sale on it so if you do like this video and you do like the look of the react you can purchase it now for two hundred and eighty five thousand dollars which is a pretty good price by the looks of it because it looks like a mean ass motherfucking truck and uh, you're saving quite a bit of money while you're saving about $95,000 which is you know not to be sniffed at so if any further ado guys let's get this into LS customs and see what sort of customizations we can do so you go my dudes as you pull into LS customs you'll see the vapid Riara is obviously in the off-road category now as always guys we're going to start this build with 100% body armor then we're going to go to the brakes we're going to get race brakes and for the bumper front bumper we've got loads of options for the front bumper which is fucking sweet man um so all these look pretty good but like a lot of the customizations nowadays in GTA and LS Customs we get one cosmetic change and then there's you know two other different variations of that whether that be in secondary primary or um, in this case it's going to be matte black uh, so they are quite nice options the stock RAM bar looks quite nice and then like I said you got the primary then the secondary variations of that then the ball bar and that is it so not massive amounts of customization for the front bumper we get some nice options with the ball bars um my th my favorite is probably just the ball bar you know but then it also looks pretty good as stock um but yeah i, I think i'm just going to go with uh, the ball bar because in my opinion i think it looks the best then we're going to move on to the rear bumper um this time i've only got one additional option and like i said that you get a variation of a secondary and primary with that so we're just going to go with the uh, the normal ball bar. Then we're going to go to the engine. We're going to get a level 4 engine upgrade for the exhaust. We've got three additional options. We've got a titanium. Oh, there we go. He's popping them out of the side. They look fucking pretty sweet, actually. They do. So yeah, titanium. Then we've got the same, but in carbon. And then the same again, but in aluminium. Me, personally, I think the titanium looks the best. So I'm going to go with them ones. Next, we've got the grill. Only two options for the grill, which is unfortunate. Um, but the two options do look better than the stock in my opinion and I think I'm in favor of the retro grill so I'm going to grab that one then we move over to the hood loads of options for the hood by the looks of it so we've got the bug, def bug deflector the primary bug deflector oh okay so, and then we've got the secondary bug deflector fuck me I was hoping it wasn't going to do this on the hood but as you can see it has um, and then we've got what the fuck what's with these bug deflectors man no idea. So with the, with the vented hoods, these are pretty cool. I actually like the look of these. Um, but again, you know, we've got three different variations of the same fucking thing. Uh, then we've got the vented hood too, and that's it, man. Uh, I think my favourite is the vented hood, but I think I'm going to go with the vented hood just like that. And then we've got this matte black on top of it because then it matches uh, my ball bars. So yeah, go go with just the vented hood. Then we're going to move to the lights. I'm going to the headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. And we do get a livery option for this vehicle, which is pretty cool. Uh, and it looks like we've got a good amount of options. So we've got the center stripe, uh, which I'm assuming is going to be white because I can't see it. Oh, there we can. Yep, right through the middle. So it's just like a singular racing stripe straight through the middle of the car. And then we've got the double blue. Uh, the double stripe, which I'm assuming is going to be the same as that, but in white. Made in the USA. That is patriotic as fuck. Uh, the, that looks... All right. I think that would be a lot better if it didn't have the fucking Shrewsbury shotgun across the side of it. Um, not sure about that one. Again, not sure about that one. So we've got some sort of military liveries on them ones. But they look a bit too vibrant to be military in my, my opinion. So uh, not too keen on them ones. And we've obviously got like the trophy truck style um, liveries as well. Another patriotic one. And another patriotic one with the stars and stripes. Um, so... 
not a massive fan of any of these really that's probably the best one in my opinion I think that probably looks the best if I was going to go for a livery um, like I said I did like that one but the Shrewsbury shotgun um, you know writing on the side spoiled it for me a little bit so I think I think I am going to go with a livery just to be a little bit different because um, usually I don't go with liveries on my on my car builds and I you know I do like the patriotic beer one that's pretty cool uh, but then the Made in the USA one is pretty sweet as well. I think, yeah, fuck it, man. I'm going to go with a Made in the USA. So then we do have the respray. As we've got the livery on there, I'm not sure how this is going to change the uh, the overall look of the car. So we're going to find out anyway. So we're going to go primary colour. We've got to go, got to go classic because we've got the livery. We don't want that metallic shine over the top of the livery. So it must go um, classic on this. And we are going to change it. Let's go black. See, that looks pretty cool. It kind of fades into the black at the back. Yeah, it looks nice, man. I actually really like that. So, I think I'm going to go with that. Yeah, I'm going to go uh, classic black for the primary colour. And for the secondary colour, also we're going to go into classic and purchase black. Then we've got an option for the roof. Loads of options for the roof. But, I'm sh yeah, there we go. So, I've, I thought it was going to be pretty much this. Uh, so, it's more of the, you know, the, the, the tail part of the the car rather than the actual roof so it's the bed of the truck rather than the actual roof of the truck so we've got the primary cab which doesn't actually look too bad to be honest I, I, I prefer the pickup truck looking version of it rather than this but if you if you like this sort of thing with a cab at the back you know it, it does look pretty sweet um, then obviously we've got like the ball bar variations then we've got the bars too with different variations and then the roof rack which actually I think looks the best in my opinion so I'm gonna go with a roof rack next we've got the side skirts so at the minute as you can see we've got a step up bar right on the side and I'm yeah so like I said I was assuming that this is just gonna change that um, step up plate which it does and I think the slat skirt probably looks the best one because then it matches my ball bar and the roof rack so yeah I'm gonna go with that one suspension I don't think I'm gonna change this to be honest as it being you know a high riding truck and if you lower the suspension it kind of looks a bit weird man so I'm gonna leave the suspension as stock but then we move on to the transmission I am gonna get a race transmission and turbo tuning now for the wheels guys um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna change these depending on whether the wheel size decreases or not when I put an aftermarket on there so I'm gonna start with the off-road um, I'm gonna go stock because I'd like some black rims on this if I can, if I'm gonna change them and luckily enough the wheel size looks like it stays the same size maybe a little bit of width goes from the tire um, which is unfortunate but the overall shape of the wheel doesn't change all that much so in that case I am going to purchase an aftermarket wheel and it's going to be something similar to this because I wanted to change the whole color of the rim to black because I think that would look a lot nicer um, so those ones actually look quite good, the Amazon, so I'm going to quickly grab them and like I said, I'm going to go into the wheel colour and change it to carbon black. So now I've changed the colour of the rim. It's got a weird shine to it, man. I don't know if I like them, though. So I'm going to quickly go back into the stock rims and I'm going to change them to a different type of wheel. I think the, the mud slingers actually look a little bit better in my opinion, so I'm going to go with, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with these bad boys. Whilst we're here, we're going to go into tyres and purchase the bulletproof tyres. And to finish off the build as always, we're going to go into the windows and purchase the like smoke window tint. So you get my dudes, there is my build on the Vapid Reata, which was released with the uh, with the Doomsday Heist DLC, but a good few weeks ago. Um, like I said at the beginning, I did forget about this vehicle. I purchased it right at the beginning, but because we had so much content on that day, I just forgot about it. So my bad. But here is the build and the review on it. Um, overall, the customization on it is pretty sweet. You get delivery options, you've got loads of ball bar options. Um, obviously, you can change the roof to a cab, different ball bars, and the roof rack at the back. Um, plenty of deliveries, you know, so there's enough customization on this vehicle for it to be, um, you know, justify its price, which at the moment is 95 grand cheaper than its original price because there's a little bit of a sale on. So if you do like the look of this vehicle, I'd suggest go purchase it as soon as this video goes up. Um, so like, you, like I said, you're saving a bit of money. So for the price, it's not expensive really at all um, right now. Uh, at full price, it's almost $400,000. I don't know if I really want to pay that for it. 
to be honest, because it's nothing great. It's not setting the world alight. Uh, but th like I said, the customizations are good. For what it is, it actually drives quite nicely. So um, yeah, so I don't think, like I said, I don't think it's going to be crazy good. I, I don't think it's going to be better than like a trophy truck in like a race race in terms. Um, I still feel like the trophy trucks are probably the best way to go for an off-road and vehicle, um, like a four-wheeled vehicle, in my opinion, or the brawler. Um, but yeah, overall, good vehicle. Um, price tag is a little expensive for what it is, but it is a brand new DLC car, so uh, you got to kind of expect that. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please give me a motherfucking too sweet. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios. Fuck it right in the pussy.